Welcome everyone to M-Series training. This is for the MPC, M2Go, M2PC, M1, and M6 consoles. My name is Kevin Fredell. I am uh, a lighting designer and programmer for Bright Star Productions in Houston, Texas. And uh, just wanted to go through a few things to get you started with the M-Series. Uh, first of all, I am going to go ahead and open up, and you should know that because this is a secondary monitor, the splash screen that shows that MPC is starting up is on another monitor. Uh, and as soon as it opens, I'll move over the, the main screen, the, the start screen, uh, for you to see what we're doing. So here we go. Um, first of all, we are on build 3.60.734.733 which is the most current build as of January 9th, 2017. Uh, that's the date of this recording. So uh, let's start from the very, very beginning. We, uh, you'll notice here that there are four icons uh, to choose from. First of all is new show, which should be self-explanatory, starting fresh, no information in the show. Uh, this is where you would click. Uh, if you're going to load a show, like you have uh, something on a thumb drive or a previous show that you've been working on, you would click here. If you're going to join a show, and that could be done, uh, let's say that you are going to uh, use this system as a backup, or you were going to use it as um, a remote focus tool, you can certainly do that. Say you're on a Microsoft Surface or something similar. Uh, and then of course you can continue a show which is the last show that you worked on in your system. So I am going to go ahead and start a new show. So we start from scratch and uh, just to show you what you would expect. Now uh, let's call this um, M series training and we're going to go ahead and hit OK. So we see that it's loading. Give it just a couple of seconds here and we'll be up and ready to go and I'll explain some things to you. So this is uh, what you're going to be presented with um, when you first open a show on either MPC M2Go or M2PC. And the reason why that is is because this is formatted for a different resolution screen. And of course, most modern screens are going to be 1920 by 1080 um, or higher resolution. Now, I will tell you that the higher resolutions as of this time do not uh, do very well. So you want to make sure that you um, are on no more than a 1920 by a 1080 screen in order to get the most use and uh, the most stable results from your um, GUI here. So the first thing we need to do is uh, make this fit the screen and there's a couple ways of going about that and the first thing is is you can go up here to the blue ball where the little down arrow is you can unlock screens click away you now see that you have a series of dots a grid and you can simply just drag uh, drag these out and um, fill up the screen that way. But we're, um, this is kind of cumbersome, so what I like to do is go into the uh, sample layouts and let me go ahead and record this just so you can see that process and lock it. So now uh, if you were to do that for every, you would have to go to every screen and resize it for the monitor you're on. No fun. So here we go. We're going to go, uh, we're going to load a layout that is already in MPC or M2Go or M2PC menu. And then we're going to go to uh, under show load and save and you'll see here um, down at the bottom my show 
reports, screen layouts, and settings. Let's go straight to layout and it says load screen layouts. Load, we'll go to samples, layouts, and I'm on a 1920 by 1080 and I'm going to use the 2016 version. Hit open and there you go. It has now filled up the screen pretty well. There's you know a little gap here but it's still usable and uh, the thing is is now it has done that with all the screens. It's not just uh, one by one. Um, uh, another little thing here um, now once once the screen is open uh, and you've loaded that preset, uh, the the, lo the uh, screen layout, um, I would suggest that you go ahead and modify your programmer and fixture center so that um, you get m all that you can out of this area here, the, the fixture center. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to hit MPC and I'm going to unlock that screen. I'm going to move this down. Let me grab the side here. And then I'm going to come over to Groups. I'm going to turn the filter on. And to me, this is the power of Fixture Center, is this, the filter here. And um, let me go ahead, just because I'm a little OCD, go ahead and extend that to where it fills the screen. Uh, here's something real important. You once you do this and make a change to a screen it's very important that you right click uh, on your uh, screen name hit record screen and here you can rename it or just keep it the same and hit OK and then hit lock um, if you do not do that if you don't record this screen not necessarily unlocking the screen but if you do not record this screen when you go to the next screen and come back, well, the things you changed will not be there. And I'm going to demonstrate that to you real quick. So under 2D plan here, you'll see that there's um, a little bit of space on the bottom. So I'm going to unlock this screen and I'm going to um, change the size of that. And then I'm going to lock it again. So I can't do anything here, but if I go to program, and then I come back, bam, it has lost that because I didn't record those changes. So uh, very important that you do that. And that is how you record your first screen and get your, your layout so that it fills the screen.